Hey everyone, it's Jeremy, and if you watched Tarantula Cat's most recent video, then you already know that I rehomed my last pea puffer to her. And today I want to talk to you guys about why I decided to do that. For those of you who don't know, I have a 10 gallon planted tank that I used to keep three pea puffers in. After about two years, one of the pea puffers died of what I can only assume is old age. Pea puffers live three to five years. Being wild caught fish, I don't know how old they were when I got them. There was no other problems in the tank, nothing suspicious going on, no weird diseases or anything like that. Over time, this fish started to slow down. Eventually it stopped eating and then it passed away. Fast forward several more months, I mean like three, four months later, and then the same thing happened with one of the other pea puffers. It slowed down a whole lot, it stopped eating, and eventually it died. And so now we're looking at over two years that I've had these fish, and two of them passed away, leaving me with just one. And this last puffer was super healthy, had a big appetite, had a lot of energy, was super active, and overall just doing really well, except for the fact that he was all alone. And yes, pea puffers can be kind of aggressive sometimes or very territorial, but they are also very social with their own kind. And so I felt bad keeping this pea puffer in a 10 gallon tank all by himself with no tank mates when I know that pea puffers can be very social. If you watch my channel regularly, then you also know that I have been trying to downsize my aquarium hobby quite a bit lately. I am in the process of consolidating my separate beta tanks into one long divided tank. I am currently working on that setup right now, but also as some of my fish have passed away, I've decided not to replace them and instead I'm just phasing out their tanks. I've had to euthanize a couple of really old beta fish lately that just weren't doing really well. I know I haven't really talked about that on my channel, but I have talked about that quite a bit on Twitter and I haven't been trying to replace those fish at all. Instead, I'm just phasing out their aquariums so keeping that in mind, when Kat reached out to me saying she was interested in getting some pea puffers for her 15 gallon tank, one of the first things that I told her was that she should take mine. Initially, she wasn't really interested in that because of how old the pea puffer is. He probably has another year or two of life left in him, but she didn't want to take him and have him die of old age shortly after. I thought that was understandable, and she went out and she got two young pea puffers on her own. Over the next several weeks, her and I talked a little bit about her puffers and about snails, and one day I filmed a TikTok of this fish tank right here and the overwhelming snail infestation that is going on in this tank. I also uploaded that TikTok to Twitter and jokingly I tagged Tarantula Cat asking her to take some of the snails off my hands. She said she was interested and we started talking about it. Over the course of that conversation, she also told me she was interested in getting another puffer. She only had two and she wanted to get a third for her tank. Again, I floated the idea that she should take my last puffer and this time she accepted. A few days later, her and I met up at the pet store. I took her a huge amount of snails, at least 50 snails from this tank, which barely made a dent in the population. And I also took her my pea puffer. We spent a short amount of time at the pet store. She filmed some of the tarantulas there at the pet store for her video. And then we parted ways, she went home, and she acclimated the puffer to her tank and introduced him to her puffers. And it went really well. She sent me so many short videos of her puffer tank and the puffers interacting with each other, and meeting each other, and eating together. And overall, it looks like everything went really well. It looks like the puffers are all getting along great. But this was a win-win for everyone. She gets to have her third puffer. My puffer gets to be social again with other puffers without me having to buy more. I get to downsize my aquariums a little bit like I've been wanting to do. Overall, it's what's best for everyone. I don't feel like I've made any kind of mistake. I'm very happy with this decision. I do miss my puffer tank. I will admit they were really cool fish. I really enjoyed having them. But since I am trying to downsize my fish tanks, it just made sense to rehome that one puffer rather than get more. 
That's it for this video. I hope you understand why I decided to rehome my last puffer. It had nothing to do with my ability or inability to take care of them or me not wanting it anymore. I just felt like it was what was best for the puffer, for me, and for Cat. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you leave a big like down below. Also, if you're not subscribed to me, it would mean the world to me if you would subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, I have a PO box and I would love it if you would send me something to open up on camera. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.